Now you might remember a show called Pimp My Ride. Well, it turns out they made a game of it. I didn't know it existed. I found it while I was scrolling through PSP ROMs and it's probably the worst game I've ever played. Now, normally when I come across something like this, I'd say I'm shocked this exists, but I'm just not. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this absolute wreck of a game. So the premise of this game is arguably the stupidest I've ever heard. The whole game takes place in Pimp City. Here, this is my city. It's called Pimp City, and Pimp City's pretty tight. It's literally an entire city dedicated to pimping cars. How the fuck an entire city's economy runs off pimping cars, I'm not sure, but somehow it does. Also, can I just add that the opening scene has exhibits saying that Pimp City is full of different people driving different cars. Lots of different people driving around, lots of people. However, when you start the game, there's one car model for every single car. Anyway, Exhibit wants the player to set up in Pimp City. And see if you can turn this automotively challenged city around. What, what, what do you mean? It's called Pimp City. How can it be automotively challenged? It's got pimping in the name. You'd think a place called Pimp City would be full of exotic cars or prostitutes, but in this case cars. However, it's filled with neither. All the cars are shit and they need your help. Pimp City, everybody. Also, Exhibit tells us in the opening cutscene that anytime we pimp a ride, the rival shops are going to buy the same car and try to steal our business and outpimp us. Every time you get your hands on a customer's ride, the local rival shop here is also going to get their hands on the same ride. But the cars on the show are free. And even in the game, you have to make the money for the contestants. They don't pay for it. So the other shops are spending more money than you do because they have to buy the same car only to give it away for free or not give it away at all if you win. Also, for some reason, after you've pimped someone's car, you get access to their car. So what, they give it to you or the shop made an exact copy paying double the price of a car they gave away for free so they can give you an identical car. So the actual gameplay starts by giving you a selection of people you can choose from. They all have various budgets and of course you can pimp their cars. And gonna be honest, I didn't really remember any of them. They all have super generic interests and you should apparently use these to pimp their cars. But as far as I'm aware, they have no actual impact on the game. But more on that later. After this, you enter a phase of the game called the Cash Roam where you drive around the city and get enough money to pimp the contestants' cars. But before I get onto this, I want to mention the car handling in this game. Oh my god, it, it's some of the worst I've ever experienced. I think it's the worst, hands down. I dare you to try and find a game where the cars handle worse than this. How the fuck they managed to make it this bad is beyond me. It's like if I put office chair wheels on my house and drove it around. You'd think in a game where you spend 99% of your time driving around that they'd make the driving mechanics good. But no, I literally cannot express how badly the cars handle in this game. Going in a straight line or driving like a normal human being doesn't seem to exist in Pimp City because it's impossible to go anywhere without crashing several times. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'll get onto how you actually make money in this game. There's five ways, but technically only four. The first way is money tokens. These are littered around the city, there's like five of them, and you get such a small amount of money from them, they're completely useless. The next way is to holler at crowds. Basically, you drive extremely slowly past a group of identical NPCs, do a quick time event, and then get given thousands of dollars. How this works, I'm not sure. What exactly I did that was so impressive, I'm not sure either. I just drove past them and did nothing. The next method of making money is called hot stepping, which is a button pressing game where you dance next to your car and if you hit the buttons at the right time, you get given money. Then you have ghost riding, which is a button pressing game where you dance next to your car and if you hit the buttons at the right time, you get given money. They're literally the same thing. It doesn't matter that the game has a different name for them. You do the same thing in both activities. The only real difference is where the bar is, and that's it. You cannot call them different things. If you could, then making games would be the easiest shit in the world. And again, just like when you holler people, why are they paying $7,000 to watch a man dance very averagely by his slow-moving car? Oh, 
However, the final way of making money cannot be explained. You have to ram civilians and then gold coins shoot out. Remember that part of Pimp My Ride? When Exhibit took the rides back to West Coast Customs, but on his way, plowed down the entire population of the city? I'm sure the contestants don't appreciate it because you use their cars. Who thought that was a good idea? Getting money from vehicular homicide. What's more, you don't even get that much money from it. It gives you even less money than the already useless money tokens. You can't actually kill people on foot either, but you can do this. As if that wouldn't kill somebody. So after you've killed enough innocent people, you have to go and meet the contestants. What's going down? <laughs> there is so much wrong here. Aside from the fact the character models make my skin crawl, I know this is PSP, but it still looks like ass. Exhibits cons <laughs> Exhibits consistently dead expression is, ex is especially unnerving. He just fucking stands there and nods his head the whole time. It's so weird, it's so creepy. One thing that bothers me is whenever a contestant hands over their keys, it's always broken, but in a different way. Sometimes it goes into X's hand, sometimes it teleports away from his hand, and sometimes it floats above his hand. Are you? Um... Why not have the same animation for all of them? You know, so it looks half decent. They weren't afraid of using the same exact character models, or the same exact car models, or the same minigame twice, with a different name. But no, the key part, that has to have variation. So finally we get to the main part of the game, the pimping part. Which unsurprisingly is the single worst part of the entire game. Because for some reason, the people who made this thought, this needs a time limit. Why on earth would a Pimp My Ride game need a time limit? Especially ones that are so strict, you barely have time to do anything. You get one and a half minutes to charge around the city at top speed, killing every civilian in sight, desperately hoping you make it to the garages in time. Then, once you've customised the car, the contestant will choose from yours or the rivals. Now, it is effortlessly easy to win. Providing you reach the garages in time, but say you do, the pimping is basically done for you. Every single item is already tailored to the contestants, so providing you buy the most expensive upgrades, you will win 100% of the time. And you will be able to afford them, because no matter how small the budget is, you get incredibly easy mini games to lower the price, meaning you will be able to afford the most expensive items, thus always win. However, saying that, I didn't actually finish the game. Not because it was hard, but I physically couldn't play anymore. It's like a form of torture. You do the same thing in every level. Drive around, get some money, kill some innocent people, pick up the car, buy the most expensive upgrades and win. It's honestly insufferable. The only difference in the latter levels is they're longer, so you suffer longer. The game also glitched in certain parts, like when this car wouldn't load, we brought your whip all the way back to life. So take a look at your brand new ride. Or when I was playing one level, but the game decided to play the audio of a stage I'd already completed on top of the one I was already playing. How the actual fuck that happens, I'm not sure, but it did. So I was treated to loud engine noises the entire time. Overall, the game really isn't that bad. I'm just kidding. It's phenomenally awful. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this was made to launder money. How they were able to charge nearly £40 for this shit when it released, I have no idea. I played it for free and I still feel like I got ripped off. This is by far the worst game I've ever played. It completely eclipses Kick-Ass 2. Because that game was just boring most of the time, but it worked. This is completely inept. I think the most offensive thing is the severe lack of actual pimping. A lot of games have bad handling and glitches, but this is a pimp my ride game. You'd think, you know, be able to pimp rides. It's technically there, but you choose from the cheaper upgrades and lose, or the more expensive ones and win. That's the extent of the pimping in this game. You really only have one option. Anyway, that was the horrible pimp my ride game. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.